Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step process of creating this uh, laundry room shelf with the uh, hanging rod. So this is uh, uh, using, I'm using all repurposed material from other project. Um, this triangular bracket, it was from my other project closet makeover and these uh, four inch trim wood uh, also from that project and so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to put a 12 inch shelf on top and the rod is going to be from this side all the way to that side so that um, we can hang clothes in here uh, because right now I have nowhere to hang my clothes in the uh, laundry room once they got out of the dryer um, so this way we have that's about 61 inches worth of uh, hanging space and um, uh, this, the, the height between that to that tile over there is 40 inches it's a standard height of uh, a typical hanging uh, closet distance from the uh, from the top of the hanger to the bottom all right, so let's get started. I'm going to keep the uh, camera uh, on uh, in time lapse, and then I'm going to narrate uh, the process step by step. This is the uh, 3 4 inch plywood that I'm going to use as the top of the shelf. And I just marked 61 and 5 8, which is the, the entire width, and I'm going to cut it. I've created this um, template that I need to cut. Um, this is where the top board is going to be. This is where the side ledge and I need to cut that out and I need to cut this out right here. Um, I'm going to be using a jigsaw to go, go to cut that cut out and this one. Go left handed, stop it, and then go.
Okay, so this piece is going to go up here. Like that. And the reason why there is a, an overlap here is because this is going to come here and then this thing is going to latch in like that and we're gonna screw it in and that's how this is going to stay but we're going to have to support this we're gonna glue the other side and I'm gonna try to find I don't think we have any stud over here so I'm just gonna glue it and then put a whole bunch of uh, finished nail at the back it will hold okay. Okay, my uh, small glue container kind of dried up, so I'm using this gigantic container um, to apply glue. I know this is kind of crazy, but it works. So, just applying glue so that this sticks on the wall. Okay, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more, like this. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, we're going to go inside, and then we're going to nail it. Okay, so this side is uh, completely nailed in and glued to the wall. So this should be pretty strong. Um, and uh, uh, we also nailed in the top shelf piece. Um, that's what it looks like there. It's already nailed in. And all these sides right here are all already nailed from the top. Um, yeah, so all I have to do now is cut this uh, piece of uh, metal or stainless, I think it's aluminum, not stainless, uh, closet rod and um, to the exact size that uh, is going to end right here and uh, we should be uh, finished um, after that. Thank you. Here's the finished product. Um, I, I still need to prime, uh, caulk, and paint, but um, the uh, the product itself, I guess, uh, is done. It took about two two and a half hours to create, and I didn't even go to Home Depot at all. These are all scrap parts, at least for me. Um, but uh, if you want to create something similar to this. Uh, you're gonna need to have um, 12, 12 inch width, 3 quarter inch plywood. You need a closet rod. Uh, you need to have an angle bracket here that uh, that can hail, uh, hold a closet rod. And uh, you need to have some trim pieces of wood. Uh, those are 4 inches wide. You can do 3 inches wide too if you like. Um, and uh, you also need to have about a <clears throat> two by two piece of plywood on this side. It doesn't need to be three quarter inch. Um, and uh, just some screws. Um, I use a uh, nail gun on this project, but uh, you can also use regular screws and regular nails. And um, I like to use uh, uh, wood glue because wood glue is really cheap and they're really strong. So. You can do that um, and just paint and primer. This whole project, like I said, uh, took two and a half hours, but as far as materials is concerned, cost me zero dollar. Um, and uh, I'm going to paint this and I'm going to give the um, finished product at the end of this video.
Here's the completed closet shelf hanger. It's currently already being used as you can see, but it turns out pretty nice. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.